a positive T. I'll pop a positive little tangle mark here. Uh, just doing a quick recording of my new uh, next gen screen that I put together. Uh, the graphics. Um, a few minor items. This does have a uh, signal graph on it. Uh, for most cases, just let everybody know that they really don't do anything. Uh, it's just just a filler. So if you uh, get a Nexian screen that has a graph like this with a SWR or a signal meter, it's just an on and off graphic, just to show basically. Like there it swings up. I mean, uh, it doesn't do anything in truth. It just just a visual, if you will, an indicator, a visual indicator that you know. But we have others such as the little radio antenna emitting the colors of the uh, uh, buttons, the DMR, D Star, Fusion, and P25, which are just graphics that show you what's going on. Your basic information is actually underneath it. And as you can see, we have calls going out, we have last herds, um, time slot to, you know, talk group, whatever information, burr rate, time. And it can bounce back quite a bit. As you can see, we got a lot of activity on talk group 310 today. Um, but I'm going to do a short demonstration of what this can do and as you can see up there where it's got status it's got initialization or initializing uh, there's an error there that I gotta figure out but you can see that uh, like on the uh, time slot 2 last heard it shows you who made the call to whom top group 310 uh, we don't currently have any activity there jump to MMDVM idle I'm gonna have to work that out and see where it's at and get it Get set better in stone, but uh, this is the first version, the first release, if you will, of this particular uh, screen, next in screen display. Uh, what I'm going to do is fire up my Baofeng RD5R. Wait for it to get out of there. Now I've got this set up for Parrot, so I'm going to call Parrot here on this. This is AA5ZT Alpha Alpha 5 Zulu Tango on Parrot. Testing, testing, testing. And as you can see, it showed me last heard. This is AA5ZT Alpha Alpha 5 Zulu Tango on Parrot. Testing, testing, testing. And that's the return. As you can see it shows last heard, which was me, and then it goes idle. And you can see the 9992 AA5ZT. That's what it should be. Uh, you can see that it shows temperature and centigrade. Uh, still haven't figured out how to get it over to Fahrenheit, but that's okay. Uh, I'm one of those guys in the United States that can work well with either Fahrenheit or centigrade temperatures. All right, now uh, let's see what we got on 310. Let me jump uh, my zone over here. I've isolated the parrot, so I'm going to hear my zone, my RD5R, go to main, which I have TAC 310 on. Spike it. Let's see if I get any return on 310. Anybody in the background? Don't hear anybody. Okay, he spiked 310. This is AA5ZT Alpha Alpha 5 Zulu Tango Top Group 310. Uh, can somebody give me a call back, please? Three ten's been busy today, so. Alpha Alpha Five ZT K Six DLC. You copy? K 
AK6DLC uh, from AA5ZT. Yeah, I got a good copy. I'm uh, doing a video here uh, for a new Nextian screen that I uh, created. Uh, do you mind if I co uh, copy your voice on video? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, my name's Mike. I'm out of Fairview, Oklahoma. I'm running an RD5R on a dual head hotspot. Like I said, I've uh, created a new Nextian screen and I'm just getting it tested out and seeing how it works and creating a video for uh, posting it to the Nextian user group on Facebook. Uh, temperature here in Oklahoma today is about 50, uh, no winds. Uh, it's, it's really a nice day here. How about you? Just uh, like I said, just uh, copying a video here, uh, K6DLC. Uh, so I'm going to jump off here and call this video good. Uh, uh, you have a great day, sir. Uh, 73, uh, clear from AA5ZT.